I'm Tammy from Texas and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. It's a little bit colder, a little bit windier, and today we're fishing with a Texas rig. We'll start with a stick bait or a Senko, one of my favorite early spring lures here. You can fish it wacky rig, you can fish it on a Texas rig, you can fish it weightless, you can cut it in half and fish it on a Ned rig. Lots, lots and lots of applications for a soft stick bait. We're starting out Texas rigging it. That's it right there. Can we get a bite on this? Let's see. The water is still pretty high. These rocks and stuff are usually exposed. And right now they're underwater. The wind is coming from this direction today, which is kind of odd, but that explains why it's a cold wind and not a warm wind. It's cooled off out here about 10 or 15 degrees since last time I was fishing. There might not even be any fish over here. Fish, fish. I thought it was a snag at first. This looks like a good one. I can feel, oh my. That's a nice fish, let's take it easy. Up on the bank, here we go. Nice, nice. Oh my, this is the best fish of the year so far. And he is hooked well, he wasn't coming off. This is Retro from Retro Bassin, but you are watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at this pig. We got a two pound bass here, easy, easily two pounds. He went for that stick worm, I thought it was a snag, it was a thick fish getting ready for the spawn. We're still early. This is a pre-spawn fish exploring shallow water. We're early March still. I don't even know if it's 60 degrees today. Let's get a quick picture with this fish. Nice, nice largemouth bass here. About two pounds. Look at that chunky little belly on this guy. Girl, right? It's probably a girl. Yeah, really, really nice fish here. Oh, this, this makes the trip worth it. All right, I don't want to keep it out of the water too long. Let's let it go. Nice and easy. Oh, beautiful. Just so you know, I got that fish on the $30 bait caster. This is the Ozark Trail. I fished it all of last year. I'm fishing it into this year. It's doing great. I'm fishing 12 pound monofilament. And the lure I'm using is a plastic stick worm that was sent to the show on a 3 aught EWG with a quarter ounce weight. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, that was awesome. It hasn't rained for three or four days and the water is still really high over here. Maybe the drain is clogged and that's why it's taking so long for the water to go down. But I'm not complaining. The fishing is good. I just caught a nice big bass. This lake is about one one thousandth the size of my home lake. 
I drive a few towns over to come fish this one because it's small and it warms up fast. It's a cold, overcast day. As you can see, there's no one else fishing today. And that's fine with me. Since I did get a fish here, I'm gonna work my way back toward the boat ramp. We're gonna cover this area one more time. See if we can't get one more out of here and then we're gonna move on down the bank. If you fish an area for more than 10 or 15 minutes and you don't get a bite, it's probably a good idea to move on. Hi, this is Nicole with the last cast with Tiktaalik and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Fish! Oh my! I was just taking a look at my reel and I got a fish. Here he comes. Good solid hit there. Yeah, look at this one. This one is about half the size, maybe even smaller. We got a three quarter pound, maybe a pound on its best day because it's got a little chub in the belly here. Still another nice fish on the soft plastic stick worm, Texas rigged. Yeah, that one caught me by surprise. Good fish. Let's let him go. Well, I'm glad I stayed in the area because I just caught another fish. I need to get my worm straightened out. And we're ready to rock and roll. Two fish so far. This is awesome. It's cold, but it's awesome. Man, I'm excited. I already caught two fish. I thought it was going to be a slow day. Yeah, I was looking at my reel and that fish took it down. I'm going to have to re-watch that footage. That was a pretty cool bite. All right, we're going to make our way down the bank. Let's see if we can do it again. So far, two awesome fish. A two pounder and a one pounder. Check it out, someone's boat is in the water. fish. Oh, that feels like a good one. That feels like a good one. Head shaker. Oh, holy cow. Here we go. Nice, big pre-spawn bass. Oh my, that is another beautiful, beautiful fish. My name's Emma. Always keep it realistic. Yes! Now we're up in the three pound range. Awesome coloring on the tail, too. Holy cow! That is a gorgeous fish. Check it out. Pudgy little belly. Oh, I'm excited now. Fish number three is a doozy. Let's get a quick picture. Check 
it out. That is a really nice bass. Around three pounds. Yes, gorgeous fish. Got him on the Texas rig stick bait. Man, man, oh man. I'm amazed at how much they want the stick bait today. Let's let this one go. I thought it was gonna be a slow day. No, sir. A few gorgeous bass so far. Fish. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh, he came off. Did you see him out there? Whew. Adrenaline dump. Man, I had one. I had one. Dang it. I had one. Felt like another good fish. That would have been fish number four. Felt like a good one too. I'm guessing at least a pound. Fred Randall. Well, that's all the time I have for today, but it was an awesome, awesome trip. I fished for about an hour and a half and I caught three beautiful bass. A one pounder, a two pounder, and a three pounder, all on a Texas rigged worm. The worm was a soft stick bait sent into the show by a subscriber in an interesting color. Now's a great time to get out there and try to catch a few bass. They're starting to move up shallow. They're starting to feed. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.